it's your girl simone nicole back at it again with yet another video welcome back to another day of vlogmas here on my channel in my private life i sometimes call it momness so today's video is gonna be completely inspired by kimberly shirelle she is a natural hair youtuber here and i found her channel like a year or so ago and i watched one of her videos and i was like wow we are literally hair twins i decided to do this video because often a lot of us subscribe to different channels because we have similar hair types to them or maybe they're like our hair goals but i definitely subscribe to kimberly because she has very 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 similar hair texture to mine however some of the products that she loves i really don't like and i think that's super interesting because we have very very similar hair types which you will see once you go to her video see her hair wet and then see my hair wet it's very similar but like even with this wash and go we get very not the same results so i will show you the results of the wash and go up close at the end of the video today i'm going to be trying out one of her routines she has a series on her channel called killer combos where she tries two different products together and then she basically creates a killer combo so i really am more into a very simple wash and go and two products is like perfect to me i actually ended up doing three products i don't have the three products here with me now but of course you'll see them in the video she loves the camille rose coconut um it's like a coconut leave-in i'll pop a picture up on the screen she loves that stuff and when i was in target getting the other product that i'm going to talk about i saw it so i was like i'll get it and you'll see how i liked that while i'm doing my hair the killer combo that i'm going to be trying today is going to be the miel organics pomegranate and honey i believe the line is again i'll pop a picture up on the screen of their curly custard in that um, pomegranate line i have a, like the twisting cream in that line and it's super heavy but this one you'll see in the footage is so emollient like if you turn the jar the custard will literally fall out everywhere so it's very like loosey-goosey um and then on top of that for her gel she used the style factor like not the edge control but they like made a gel she swears by that stuff and i never tried it because i love my uncle funky's daughter gel so much i just haven't been interested in trying another gel but she loved it so much that i was like <laughs> okay i'll try it so those are the two products that we are going to be trying today and i'm going to see if her killer combo is also a killer combo for me because ideally it should be but i guess i'm kind of doing this like to say that just because you have the exact same texture as somebody else does not mean that you'll like the same products or that your results will be similar so i just wanted to try it just to step outside of my comfort zone because every single one of the products that i used in this video i had never used before so that's what we are doing today now the final order of business before we get started with today's video is going to be my subscriber shout out so um once again i'm filming on my phone so i don't have my phone right in front of me to pull out to look at the comment but i will insert the comment here her name is kalisha jones she commented on my jacqueline hill highlighter review video and she basically talked about how helpful my review is because she hasn't seen anybody as dark as me review that collection and um i just really liked that she told me that i was able to help her out in a way that she wasn't able to find somewhere else so to you miss kalisha thank you so much for watching my video supporting my content and if you are subscribed or if you are not thank you so much i appreciate you and if you would like the chance to be my subscriber shout out please make sure that you are interacting with my videos that you are liking you are commenting and most importantly that you are subscribed make sure you turn your notifications on because if you're seeing this video then you know that we are in the middle of vlogmas which will be 10 videos straight so how are you gonna know when i post if you don't turn on those post notifications now with all of that being said let's go to shower simone all right tease so i have already applied my leave-in conditioner and i've split my hair off into about eight sections 
And I use the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Conditioner, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So I only had one more part to do, so I figured I would do that on camera for you guys. I wet my hair, I took a good amount of leave-in, and then I just started to smooth that right over my hair shaft. And this product kind of had a little bit of an advantage because I just got done deconditioning. So it didn't have to fight through many tangles, but my hair does look really good, really defined, and the product does feel really lightweight. Basically everything I look for in a leave-in conditioner, I don't particularly care for heavy, heavy products. So I twisted my hair and that was it. This is how my hair looks with all of the deep conditioner throughout it. Very nice, very soft, and a great base to start off on. So the first product we're gonna be going in with is the Miel Organics Curling Custard. It is super runny in consistency and it smells so stinking good, oh my goodness. So I start off by wetting my hair just a bit. And I didn't show you all how much of the product I was using because I always start slow and build when I'm using new products because just a little pro tip, you never wanna go too far um, the first time you use a product because it's really, really hard to undo that. So I start small and then build. And that is how my hair was looking. And I basically just added water, added custard, and only stopped when I felt like I was getting the definition that I was looking for. Something else you will see me doing is going through and I guess shingling my hair, but not super uh, detailed <laughs> like. It takes me a very, very short amount of time to do that because I only look for pieces that feel not as defined and then I'll go through and basically just separate them and smooth out the curl and that's it. Nothing crazy, nothing super detailed. I also don't know why I just made that face, but I will continue to do that entire process all over my head. So this is what my hair is looking like with half of my head completely covered in the curling custard. Honestly, if you're a one product kind of gal, this would be really good, but I don't think that you would have results for a very long time. This would be a really, really good soft wash and go. Nothing that's going to last you for a week. So my hair is looking really nice, really shiny, really defined. And as you guys will notice, I go and I add one product in at a time. So now we are going to add in our gel, which is much thicker than the custard. And I started with all my hair pushed back because I was trying to get rid of that part down the middle of my head. But I ended up realizing that that just wasn't gonna work. <laughs> so I ended up splitting it in half and going in and basically doing the exact same thing that I did with the custard, only my hair defined like really, really easily. Once I put the gel on top, I didn't really have to work for the definition that I'm showing you here, which was nice. And I just went in and repeated that exact same thing on the other side of my head. Then I just tossed all of my hair to the back of my head and then worked on getting rid of that middle part line. And then I just continued that process all over my head. And this is the amount of hair that I lost from styling. Not much at all. 
these are my results in shower and you can always tell how good your wash and go is going to be by how it looks when you are done so if you get done styling your hair and it looks frizzy and it looks a mess it's not gonna dry to be any better also this is a mistake that I made I was trying to again make sure I didn't have that part in my head so I went through trying to basically like push the hairs together but since my hair was all clumped together it was really really hard to pull them apart i mean of course simone so i wouldn't recommend doing that and i just went in made little fixes here and there and that was it and these are my results so i was getting ready super quickly after i filmed that so i didn't have time to like go in and really get the crunch out from the gel. I knew the gel was gonna be crunchy. Most gels are crunchy and um, I don't use oils on my hair so I can't like scrunch out the crunch essentially. So how I get that gel cast off my hair is that I just let it air dry usually but stay outside under a dryer to expedite the drying process. Usually I would sit underneath or I would just let it dry and then at when it's like 90% dry and I wait until it's that dry because that's the way to get that gel cast to form so that you prevent frizzing. If you go in and just hit it with the dryer and try to stretch it when it's still completely wet, your results are going to be horrible. They're gonna be so frizzy because you didn't let your hair set in place at all. So I went in with a dryer super briefly and just um, pulled this out to dry it and I do have pretty good results for first day hair usually your first day hair is really really like little and not that good this is definitely not maximum capacity for sure not as big as my hair can get but it's pretty good for first day hair As far as how it feels, it does feel dry. Like, can you guys hear? I don't know if you can hear it, but it does feel dry. Um, I haven't done a wash and go and I don't know how long, like at least at this point in months. So I really don't remember how my hair used to feel with wash and goes. But as far as the Style Factor Gel, I like it, but I'm 100% sure I would have liked this combo better if I used my Uncle Funky's Daughter um, Gel, the one that I live and breathe by. I'm 100% sure I would have liked the combo better, but this is not bad. As far as flaking goes, I have zero flakes. No flaking at all. Um, I learned this from Kimberly and I will give this information to you all too. A way to test to see if your products are going to be well, like they're going to pair well, is if you mix them both in your hands, on the back of your hands, whatever you want to do before you put them in your hair. If you get like rolling or any like anything besides a clear, beautiful, cohesive mix, you're probably going to get flakes in your wash and go. That is not the case for me at all. I have zero flakes and as you can see my hair is very um light weight it feels very airy and it's not that it's dry but it's kind of dry i don't know i just feel like it's kind of dry like two days from now i feel like my hair is going to feel like literal hay but let me get close so that you guys can see how it actually looks okay we're in nice and tight so this is how my hair looks it is not like zero frizz but like there's a little bit of frizz at the top but I also have more of my like heat damage toward the top so that's like completely fine but my curls are the defined 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 like really defined which is all good and fine, but I just feel like they're kind of tiny. Like I feel like my curls are like teeny tiny. And like I said, I haven't done a wash and go in a minute. So maybe this is how my hair just usually looks. And I'm just used to how my hair looks in braid outs. But I feel like my hair looks so tiny like this, but 
Let me show you all the back. That is how it is looking uh, close and personal. All right, so in conclusion, was this a killer combo for Simone? I would say halfway, I would say 50% because I think that the gel is a little too drying for me. That style factor um, gel is a little too drying for me. I think that I would go, like I said multiple times with my Uncle Funky's gel instead and see how I like it. But that curling custard was really nice. Yeah, maybe I'll just try each product with something that I know and love to see how it pairs with it because maybe it's not the gel, maybe it is the custard that's a little too drying for me. I am not sure, but I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for joining me today and thank you to Miss Kimberly Sherelle. I linked her video or I should have linked at least her video or her channel in this video make sure you go follow her and you go check her out she does really really good videos on um hair care and she's very consistent she kind of feels the same way i feel about products and we kind of have the same philosophy on hair that's why i'm super attracted to her so if you like me then you are probably gonna like her too and it's always nice to support a fellow girl here on this youtube platform especially a black girl so um, please go check out her channel, show her some love, and tell her that I sent you. And that completes another day of Vlogmas here on my channel. I thank you all again so, 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 so much for joining me on today's video. Please do not forget to like this video if you liked it, leave a comment, and tell me if you've tried any of these products, what you think about my hair, what you think about my results, and if you have any other questions for me, turn your post notifications on so that you are notified every single time I upload during this year's Vlogmas. Remember to keep positivity in your life because positivity breeds positivity and we have absolutely no time for negativity in 2019. I bet you thought I was gonna say see you all in the next video, but I'm not because I'm just gonna scoot over so that you can um, subscribe in this little circle of my face right there. And then you can watch some more videos because you don't have anything to do. That paper, like sis, it's not even really due. Like deadlines are really just suggestions, so.